You can download the art same video for free, link in the description. For a hexagon grid snap, that works for both types of hexagons. Go to the script where you want the hexagon grid snap. Inside, we will create two custom functions, one for a hexagon with a pointy top and another for a hexagon with a flat top. Both will have two built-in variables. Oz will be the position that we are taking and snapping to the hexagon grid and hex size is the grid size. Additionally, we do want minus greater than towards a vector two at the end of each function. This means that this function will return a vector two value, which will allow us to set a variable like global position to this function. Inside the snap hex pointy function, we will define two variables to get the row and column of the hexagon that the position should be snapped to. As for the row, we do position.y divided by 75% of the vertical hex size. This is to find which row index the pos variable belongs to. Then we use round to snap this value to the nearest row. As for column, we do row modulo 2, which will return a 0 if row is an even number and will return a 1 if row is an odd number. This is because even numbers divided by 2 leave no remainder, whereas odd numbers divided by 2 do. We then multiply this by half of the horizontal hexagon size. This is to get the half width offset of the odd row Rows. Then we minus this from pos.x to remove the offset. So we want the exact column, not taking into account any of the offset. Then we divide all of this by the horizontal hex size to convert the adjusted position into the column position of the hexagon grid. And finally, we round to get the nearest column. Lastly, because we intend to set a vector2 value like global position to this function, we need to use return to make this function equal to the final grid snapped vector2 value. For the grid x position, we do column multiplied by the hex size.x to get the base x position of the column. Then we add the half width offset for the odd number rows. And for the grid y position, we multiply row by 75% of hex size dot y, which will provide the base y position of the row as rows are 75% of the hexagon height apart. Inside the snap hex flat function, we will define two variables to get the column and row of the hexagon that the position should snap to. As for the column, we do pos dot x divided by 75% of the horizontal hex size. This is to define which column index the pos variable belongs to. Then we use round to snap this value to the nearest column. As for row, we do column modulo 2, which will return a 0 if column is an even number and will return a 1 if column is an odd number. This is because even numbers divided by 2 leave no remainder, whereas odd numbers divided by 2 do. We then multiply this by half of the vertical hexagon size. This is to get the half height offset for any odd columns. Then we minus pos.y to remove the offset, as we want the exact row not taking into account any offset. Then we divide this all by the vertical hex size to convert the adjusted position into the row position of the hexagon grid. And finally, we round to get the nearest row. Lastly, because we intend to set a vector2 value like lower position to this function, we need to use return to make this function equal to the final grid snapped vector2 value. For the grid x position, we multiply multiply column by 75% of the hex size x, which will provide the base x position of the column, as columns are 75% of the hexagon width apart. And for the grid y position, we do row multiplied by the hex size dot y to get the base y position of the row. Then we add the half height offset for the odd number columns. Now an example of using this grid snap is to set the position or vector2 value that you want to snap to the appropriate hexagon grid snap function based on the type of hexagons in your game, then the position or vector2 value that you want to snap, then the size of the hexagon grid in your game. Additionally, you can add any offset to the final position provided by the hexagon grid snap functions. Keep in mind that the first value passed in the function is what is being snapped. So if you would just like to snap the global position, then just change the first value in the function call to the global position. Now you have a custom function that can snap any vector2 value to any hexagon grid, which you can add to any of your 2D games. And don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.